Hey guys, on this video I'm going to teach you how to set up your Apple TV. So this is the fourth generation. So first in, plug in your HDMI cable. It's just the regular HDMI cable, not the ultra one. Whatever length you can get, okay, you, get, you guys can get the 3 meter one or the 1.8 meter. That's just how long it is, so it's going to work regardless. And here's your power cord, so just plug it in. That's all you need. If you guys don't have Wi-Fi, then you need to plug in your Ethernet cable. Other than that, you guys are good to go. We're just gonna turn this on, so plug it in, turn on your TV, and we're just gonna do the main setup, okay? Hey guys, so the first thing you guys will see is language once you plug it in. Here's your remote control, so all you have to do is exactly what it tells you there. So from the top, you just have to swipe down, and then up, and then it's working right away. So it should be synced up, everything should be working right off the bat. If your control doesn't have battery, which is really weird, just hook it up. It came with a cable. So you have to hook it up to your computer or something like that to charge it, okay, since it's USB. But for now, we're just going to choose English. And then you guys can just, like, click. So up here, you guys can just press and kind of click. Then you guys set up your country. So same thing, you click. And then you guys can select whether to use Siri or not. So in my case, I like Siri. So all I have to do is swipe down on the remote, swipe to the left and click okay that's what i'm doing clicking and then i can just set up my device okay so you guys can do it set up manually or just set it up so if you have an iphone ipad or touch um you guys could set it up the fast way or you guys can set it up manually okay so i'm gonna show you guys manually i'm gonna assume that you guys don't have anything but if you guys have one of those by the way there's an app so you guys don't have to use this remote or if you guys use this lose this remote no worries just um, you guys can always always use um, your remote app for your iPhone iPad or touch okay so from here just select your Wi-Fi once you select your Wi-Fi you're supposed to see this bar now it will take a little bit but not too long the next thing that I will ask you is for your Apple ID. So at this point, you guys could keep, like, just skip the step and don't worry about it. Or you guys could create an Apple ID. So I know here it's kind of different and hard to create an Apple ID. So for you guys, I would suggest if you don't have one, just go to your computer and create one, okay? You guys can just Google Apple ID and just create one. Um, but you guys can always skip the step down here below. You guys will see, skip the step. So you guys can always do that, okay? Um, same thing, use different Apple IDs for iTunes and iCloud, sure. But um, generally, I would strongly suggest using your Apple ID, okay? It's just going to make your life easier later on. If you guys have a setup to password way, you guys will get this. Um, by the way, you guys do have Siri, so you guys could use that to help you out. Uh, when you guys input your Apple ID, you guys can just spell it out by holding the the microphone button right here but anyways um you guys might get this so just the next steps just choosing what you guys want to use in order to verify so i'm going to choose my iphone once you guys put in your code if you guys did have that set up um you guys will see this and again it's going to ask you this so you guys can choose whatever you guys want next you guys will choose to enable location or disable it's up to you guys it depends what you guys want I don't really care, so I don't mind this knowing. Um, screen see, yeah, see this thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my gigs with this stuff. But you guys can do it definitely. Um, this I recommend sending to Apple, but again, you guys can just not. Okay, uh, for this part, same thing. You guys could just not share with developers. However, I like to help out, so and. Um, terms and conditions, you guys have to agree for sure. There's no way around that. And this is your basic app to me. Okay. So I'm going to turn on automatic downloads. You guys can turn that off if you guys like. Uh, and the first thing I actually recommend with your Apple TV is going to your settings. So in your settings, what I recommend doing first of all is going into general. Under general, you guys will see Siri, okay? So you guys can turn it off at any time, turn it off, on. You guys can change your language. So here, it's good to know your settings, okay? And for example, this is wrong, right? For me at the moment. So I can change this or I can just leave it. 
this is you know depends what you guys chose you guys can choose anything here you guys can um, make a lot of changes from here so that's why I'm showing you guys settings because it's actually more important than what you think especially if something's wrong with your Apple TV it's just not working properly this is where you guys want to go and reset your Apple TV and do stuff like that okay um, same thing with your storage if you're running out you guys can go and see what's going on obviously this is brand new so you guys shouldn't really see anything there AirPlay I highly recommend if you guys have an iPad iPhone iPod touch use AirPlay I don't have a separate video showing you how to do that but um, it's extremely extremely easy to use so here's your system okay so let's say something happens with the Apple TV it's just not working properly you guys will have to restart it or reset okay so it's good to know these two under system and software updates so under software updates although it's on okay um, you can also do this by the way which I don't like to beta versions don't work properly so if you guys want everything to work properly don't do beta I'm gonna update it so this is manually updating so I'm gonna download and install now although we already put that we wanted to automatically download updates sometimes you guys have to do it yourselves and if something's not working properly this is the first thing you guys should do before even resetting or anything just check for yourselves for updates I know you guys might have it automatically to check for you however it doesn't always check for you so you guys have to do it yourselves and you guys will save a lot of time by just updating it yourself anyways things like Netflix YouTube all that stuff you guys have to download those apps Netflix it's not something that comes included yet you guys have to subscribe to Netflix and pay a monthly fee for that Apple TV is just something you guys plug in to help you out with that stuff uh, there's also games in it that you guys can download that's why you guys have those 32 gigs or 64 gigs depending on which one you got doesn't really matter they're both the same and also something to note about your remote is that with the games you guys will notice that you guys can move it around it, it, it kind of works like your iPhone if you guys have an iPhone but yeah those are the basics that's the main setup for your Apple TV if you guys have any questions comments you can write them down here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you